Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Sweet Treats and More. So I've seen a couple of questions about, oh, how do you get your color so bright on your um, edible images? How do you make them so vibrant? And as cakers, I think if we're gonna use a photo printer, um, we gotta make sure everything pops. I, I, I believe, I don't care about how much ink I use so long as the colors pop or are super vibrant on my prints. So I'm gonna show you, um, so this is the design that I get, got a lot of requests from. Etsy's a little bit mad at me about this one, but it's okay, we'll be all right. Um, but I've gotten a, a couple of requests to print this one. You see how on the computer screen, it looks wonderful. It has a detail and everything. It just pops, it's just vibrant. Are we going to get these exactly the way it is on a computer screen? Probably not because our sugar sheets are more of a matte finish and let's just face it, it absorbs, believe it or not, some of the ink. It doesn't all go all the way through, but the sugar, it absorbs it, so it's gonna dull out a little bit. So we gotta get out of using the standard printing and actually kind of fool around with our settings. So I went ahead and I printed this one, right? Um, I went ahead and I printed this one. It's still cute, right? It's still cute, but it's a little bit pale. This is on standard. This is just me going in there, um, playing, you know, cropping, do what I need to do to get my image um, okay. And this is on an eight and a half by eleven, right? She just is just is just plain paper, okay? Um, I like to print about mm, two or three different settings um, when I'm playing with it to get the right one, but I always do it on paper. Why? It's a penny a page and I recycle so it's okay so here it is this is just plain standard setting print went in there just hit print okay compared to now that's that one now compared to this one it's not as I guess you see as popping vibrant as the picture on the screen but the colors are a little bit more let's see if we can let me Zoom out a little bit so you can see the difference. Don't mind the mess in the background, guys. You see the difference where this one is a little bit more pale. This one has a little bit more pop. You see what I mean? But if I play with my settings, um, I can get the colors to, to pop just a little bit more. So this is the one where I played with settings. Now, I, I, I put high quality. That's standard high quality. This is just high quality. Okay, this is normal. You see the difference in the hair? Look at that. You see the eyes are a little bit different? You see this one? It's, it's a little bit darker. Sorry, my, it looks so much better in person, but it's, this one isn't as nice as this one. And this one, it's closer to that one, okay? That's what we're looking for. It'll look way more vibrant when I put on the sugar paper, but that was just from me playing with the settings. That's from going from standard and then going to high quality. So I use Silhouette. Um, you don't necessarily have to, but I, I customize in here. Um, I'm here. So on my Silhouette, if you go to Wherever you're going to, whatever you're using, you're using Microsoft Word, that's fine. You're gonna go to File. Let's see. All right, there we go. You're gonna go to File, and you're gonna go into Print, okay? Um, for this particular one, I'm using my Canny X6800 um, series, um, but it works for all of them, in my opinion. Anything Canon. I don't have Epson or the other photo printers, but this is my wide one. I use the exact same thing with my, um, with my, uh, what is it? The smaller one. I forgot the model numbers, TS something. It's okay. So you go into preference and you see, I set it up, it's standard. It's okay, you can go into photo printing too. That's fine, photo printing. We're not using glossy. You wanna go into photo and you wanna print matte, okay? You do not want standard. 
never standard for when you're printing images for your cakes, okay? It's going to use more ink, but you got to do it. And you're going to go into high. And then you got to be careful because if you're printing, I'm doing eight and a half by 11. You need to make sure you change that. That's eight and a half by, whoop, wrong one. Let's fix that. Eight and a half by 11. There we go. We're not done yet. I take an extra step. Now, if I print this, it's gonna come out, it's gonna come out lovely, okay? It's gonna be come out beautiful, but I take an extra step where I go into the main, the color and intensity. This is what I fool around with, okay? This is where I fool around with. And so you go to manual and you hit set. You can play with these to bring more of a pop, brighter pop to your magenta. You can play with these, okay? And once you know your, um, your printer, once you know the settings that you love and you're getting like different requests for different pictures, play with these. Um, you can even go in here. Sometimes depending on how awesome I want it, it's using the drivers from your video card. <laughs> to print your pictures. So if your video card drivers are not up to date, sometimes your color would look kind of off. Yeah, not so much the printer, it's the information that the printer is getting from your video card, okay? It might look awesome from you, but if your drivers aren't up to date, your printer's not gonna be up to date. Sometimes I fool around, I don't mess with this one too much, um, but I'll go down to this one. I don't know what it is, I don't know what it means, but standard, right here, I want my colors to be saturated. So yes, it's going to use more ink. Um, you may have to buy cartridges a little bit more, but that's why I recommend refillable cartridges. But at the end of the day, you will see the huge difference between this one, standard, this one, high quality, using more ink, and you get more pop for your prints. Isn't it nice? But that was just something I want to share with you guys. So if you are new to photo printing, I've been doing this for years, um, you can fool around with these settings. And I always, like I said, always use just regular paper. I turn it over and I reprint. So I'm not wasting the paper. I'll just keep printing on the same one, turning it over, flipping it until I get the image that I want. But you see the difference? Look, a little pale, a little brighter, a little pale. A little brighter and it's closer to my original image so there you go guys i'm gonna go ahead and finish getting this designed and out to my customer who ordered this print and i hope this helps you get the wonderful bright colorful beautiful prints that you're looking for